I was watching reels on Instagram recently when I came across a reel which showed the shocking secrets of the Apple industry. So I watched it entirely. This led to other similar reels to be shown to me. And when I checked on YouTube, I found loads of videos where people have been mongering fear about the exact same thing. Firstly, all these videos show wax being scraped off an apple and it claims that the apples that we buy from shops are coated in wax before being sold to us. These wax is supposed to be the cause of many diseases including cancer. So in fear, many people have started removing the peel of the apple before eating after seeing such videos. I love my apples, so I put on my Sherlock's hat and did an investigation. An apple a day is supposed to keep a doctor away, but should we keep the apple away because of the wax? Hello, I'm Anand and I welcome you all to Pale Blue Thoughts, the channel which denounces pseudoscience and promotes scientific temper. Wax coating on apples is said to be paraffin or petroleum jelly according to almost all the videos on the subject. This is said to collect in your intestines which is supposed to be dangerous. Some videos even claim that this can cause cancer. So here is the real truth with scientific evidence from peer reviewed and reputed scientific studies. First things first, apples have a natural coating over it. The natural apple wax is sometimes called bloom and you can identify it by looking for a thin white layer around the fruit. If you went to an apple orchard and plucked an apple and rubbed it against your shirt and looked at it, you would see that it shines. This is something that the apples have acquired during its evolution to protect its seeds. Natural apple wax acts like a protective barrier or coating preserving the fruit as it grows. Apples are just one of several types of fruits that make their own wax. Pears and plums also produce a natural wax coating. So let us see how this wax can be useful for the apples. First is moisture retention and firmness. Think of biting into an apple. You want it to be crisp and juicy. 80 to 90% of the apple is water. The apple skin helps trap the moisture in the cells of its flesh and the wax on the skin offers an additional layer of protection. Without the wax, the apple will quickly dry out become shriveled and unpleasant. Second is mold growth inhibition. The natural wax coating also keeps mold from growing on the apple's surface. Mold can be dangerous when consumed and it can also kill the fruit. The natural apple wax keeps the fruit safe until it is ready for harvest. Third is ripening delay. When a wax coating surrounds the apples, the ripening and decay process slows. The apple is exposed to less outside air so it doesn't start to break down quickly. Protected by the wax, the apple can thrive on the tree and continue to ripen after plucking. This wax also allows the apples to make it to the fruit store once picked, ensuring they are of the highest quality for consumers. The fourth one is bacterial protection. Just as the wax keeps mold from growing, it also protects the fruit from invasions by bacteria and other microorganisms. The microbes can't penetrate the apple's surface thanks to the wax. Without a waxy barrier, microorganisms could enter the fruit which could damage the apple or make you sick when you bring it home to eat. The natural wax prevents this from happening, ensuring that apples live longer and are healthy for human consumption. Okay, so there is a natural wax. But is that what is getting scraped out? Not always. When farmers harvest apples, they will wash them to remove any dirt or debris before packaging which removes the wax layer. To extend the fruit's life and to keep them looking shiny and attractive on supermarket shelves, many food producers recoat the fruits with another wax. And this is where the people get misled. What gets added is a wax coating which is called food grade wax. This is done to supplement the natural wax coating of apples. 
This is done for exactly the same reasons why apples produce wax in the first place. To retain the moisture and keep them firm, to prevent them ripening quickly, to improve their shelf life and to protect it from bacterial and mold infections. So what is the wax that is usually used? Beeswax, a waxy substance found on beehives is one option. The bees use this wax to make their honeycombs. Shellac is a commonly found natural wax which is derived from the female lac bug. Carnauba wax as another example is also a natural wax but is produced by the leaves of the carnauba palm. All of these waxes are food grade waxes and have been used on food for decades. The FDA has labeled all of these waxes safe for human consumption. All of these natural waxes are complex mixtures and contain some of the same components found in the wax of an apple. So it is not paraffin or petroleum jelly that gets added but natural wax. People who propagate organic farming and go against pesticides and insecticides should keep their mouth shut on this because this wax is just what you guys say should be used. All natural. An apple with a good waxy coating will store better than one with a partial waxy coating or no waxy coating at all. Another interesting aspect of waxy coatings and apples is that growers can take advantage of the storage ability of many apple varieties because of this waxy coating. Have you heard of a term controlled atmosphere storage? Apples can remain in controlled atmosphere storage for a long period simply by reducing the oxygen levels in where they are stored. Some apples can be stored up to one year in CA storage. CA storage does not involve adding any chemicals just modifying the environment by lowering the oxygen levels and tightly controlling the environment around the apple. The apple must have its waxy coating intact in order to benefit from CA storage. And it's not just apples, many other fruits and vegetables get this glossy shine to preserve them longer. Avocados, bell peppers, cucumbers, brinjal, lemons, mangoes, oranges, papayas, passion fruit, peaches, pears, the list is endless. So what about the quantity you may ask? Apples don't require a lot of wax to sustain their lifespan. In fact, one or two drops of wax are all it takes to coat a single apple. Around half a kilo of wax can cover over 100,000 apples. A little can go a long way to protect your apples. Okay, so what about the dangers of consuming this wax? Waxes are indigestible by humans. Humans do not have the ability to break down waxes and absorb their various components. Waxes simply pass through a digestive system untouched, just like a chewing gum would if swallowed. There are several studies that point to the safe use of wax and I shall share them in the description box if you are interested to go through them. The US FDA has approved the use of food grade wax to preserve the shelf life of apples and other fruits and vegetables. The Food Safety and Standards Authority of India or FSSAI has also approved its use and regulates it in order to ensure quality control. The FSSAI under Regulation 2.3.6 of the Food Safety and Standards Regulations 2011 has approved three wax coatings, shellac, carnauba and beeswax for application on fruits and vegetables. Contrary to what many think, India does have a good system in place to check food adulteration especially when stuff gets imported. Now if you are still concerned about the wax, just wash them in lukewarm water or using lemon or vinegar and the coating will be removed. Washing an apple before eating is always a good practice because there could be dust, residue of any pesticides or insecticides that would get removed when you do. So next time, eat your apple whole instead of peeling off the skin. Who doesn't want their fruits and vegetables to be nice, juicy and crunchy? If you are really concerned about pesticides and chemicals, you should be picking these fruits and vegetables. They have undergone an attack by a pest and it has given a certificate that the product is free from pesticides. But no, even the most chemophobic person would be picking and choosing the nice, shiny apples from the shelves. Remember that one of the benefits of coating a fruit or vegetable with wax is to prevent it from getting infected by microorganisms. That wax is actually keeping you safe from potentially harmful germs that could make you sick. 
Remember that before making misleading videos the next time. India has a lot of mouths to feed and you need the fruits and vegetables to reach your homes in the best of conditions as possible. And a lot of these travel many miles to reach your local supermarket or food stall and there needs to be a way to protect them. And coating them with a couple of drops of natural wax is the current best way. While there are a lot of myths and misconceptions that apple wax is detrimental to your health, there is no evidence to suggest that this is the truth. Instead, natural apple wax and the food grade wax applied later are meant to keep you safe and prevent apples from dying out and remain in a good condition before they make it to your fruit bowl. Mm. Waxy, crunchy, juicy and tasty. I hope you found this video useful. Please share it with others and stop the stupid propaganda from continuing to stop us from enjoying the good old apple. I shall be back soon with yet another interesting video. Until then, it's bye bye from Pale Blue Thoughts. Hmm.